Hello everyone. So today I'm going to talk about fast exponentiation in C++. So I will talk about the concept. Second thing, I will also go through. I will also write the code for it, right? So what is fast exponentiation? Generally, you you would have come ac uh, come across uh, problems in competitive programming where you have to compute a raised to the power b and followed by mod with some number p, right? So this is uh, exponentiation and this is if you take modulo it is called fast modulo exponentiation right so now there are two ways to do it one one using uh, uh, recursion that you can do in log n time right and you can also do it using bit masking approach right so bit masking approach is more efficient it takes log n time but o1 space right but recursion is going to take o of log n space right so the uh, recursion method I have already discussed in my previous videos. So today I'm going to talk about the bit masking technique to do it, right? So we will see uh, how the formula is going to be derived for it and how we can use those uh, bit masks to efficiently implement this, right? So why you should learn this is because this is very important for interviews, right? And you will find lot of problems in lot of online judges, code chefs, podge, um, talking about this, right? So th there are problems in competitive coding which are based on upon this concept, right? So an ex an extension to this is also called matrix exponentiation, where instead of taking a power of uh, a number or a scalar, you take the power of a matrix, right? So if if it is a k cross k matrix, then that runs in k cube log n time so i also i will also put tutorials on matrix exponentiation in the course but this is very important right so in today's video i'm going to talk about bit masking technique which is going to take order of log n time and order of one time if and here n is your power so if you want to compute a raised to the bar n mod p then this n is going to affect your time and the space complexity, right? So space complexity complexity is going to be order one. So let's get started and learn how to do this, right? Hi guys, uh, in this video we are going to talk about fast modulo exponentiation, right? And this is a concept which is used in lot of problems. So let us see what this is. Let me first talk about exponentiation. Exponentiation basically means you want to compute a raised to the power b this is given to you and sometimes it is given that you have to take mod with the sum value m so basically the problem is you want to compute a raised to the power b mod m and the brute force approach is to multiply a b times which takes linear time but in this approach we are going to see a method which will do it in o of log of b time and this method can be built using recursion which we have already seen in the previous videos in the course and this method uses bit masks right so i'm talking I'm going to talk about the bit mask method because it does not take any extra space right so let us see how it is done suppose you want to compute 3 raised to the power 5 and let's say mod 100 right this you want to compute I will first focus upon this part 3 raised to the power 5. So the idea is to convert this 5 into binary. So let's say 5 is written like this 101 and let us take one variable result. Let us take one variable result in which we will store the final answer right. So what, what I will do is uh, I will start from this point. I will extract this bit and let us say the result is 1 and I will multiply this number with 3 right? so I will multi if this bit is 1 I will multiply my result with 3 and when I go to the next position I will square the 3 which becomes 3 square and since this, this bit is 0 I will not multiply anything with the result so this will remain as it is and I go to the next position my number will become 3 3 raised to the power 4 right so what i am doing is i am just squaring the number right? and since this number is 1 i will multiply my result with this so this will be multiplied by 3 raised to the power 4 
so what answer you will get is you will get is 3 raised to the power 8 so how this is happening is suppose uh, you are doing a raised to the power b right so you write the binary of b let's say it is something like 1010 right let's say b is uh, 10 right so what power you are generating at this point is a raised to the power 1 what you are generating here is a square here it is a4 here it is a8 and at the places where you see the set bit is 1 you are going to multiply the value of a for those positions so this this becomes a raised to the power 8 into a raised to the power 2 which is a10 right so if i talk about the code the code is very simple and if i talk about the complexity the complexity would be o of log b where b is the maximum number of bits so you know that in any number n you have at most log n bits right and what we are going to do here is we are going to iterate over b we are going to extract bits and we are going to see if a particular set bit is 1 we are going to multiply that value of a with our result this is what we are going to do and in the beginning the result is going to be 1 the result is going to be 1 and if you want to compute a mod a raised to the power b mod m so what you need to do is you need to take a stepwise mod right so at every step where you are updating the result or you are updating the a you are going to take a stepwise mod so let us see the implementation of this method so suppose i'm i i'm want to write this function let's say uh, i want to do it for very big numbers so let me uh, take the return type as long long and let's say fast modular exponentiation is the method which accepts three numbers ll uh, a b as of now i am taking only two numbers but we will make three numbers right so what i can start with is i will have a result which is one okay and then i will iterate over b right so while b is greater than zero i'm going to extract the last bit so if the last bit is odd which means if the last bit is 1 so I am going to multiply my result with a alright and in the meanwhile I am going to make a the square of a and b is going to be b right shift 1 because we want to discard the rightmost set bit that's it so this 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 simple is the code of this problem we are going to do return result and that's it right and here what we are going to do is we are going to test so let's see out fast modular exponentiation i give the numbers as uh, 5 and 3 so let us see what is the answer right so let us run our code so you can see the answer is 125 right and what more we want to do is we want to take mod right so taking mod is easy so what we will do is we will do a mod here mod m and we are also going to pass a mod here which is going to be llm and here also we are going to do a mod m because a modular modular property says that if you take a mod of numbers if you do a plus b mod m it is equivalent to a mod m plus b mod m whole mod m right the same law also holds for the multiplication property right so it does not depend if you are taking a mod at the end or if you are taking a mod at every step so this property holds true right so now let us say if i pass the value of m as 100 so it would be 125 mod 100 which is 25 so this is how we have implemented this method so let us also see once here if you are not clear about the code so suppose I wanted to do 5 raised to the power 3. So what I did is, uh, sorry, yeah, 5 raised to the power 3. So the binary of 3 is 1, 1, 0. At this point, the result is 1. So in the beginning, the result is 1. I extract the last bit. The last bit is 0. I do not do anything, right? So the number A is at this point 3. So it becomes a into a it becomes 3 square and b goes this bit goes off right 
and when i come to this point i see that this bit is uh, this bit is 1 all right so what i do i multiply my result with 3 square so this result box becomes 3 square right sorry uh, this becomes this was 5 and this becomes 5 square oh uh, just give me a minute so 3 is 1 1 right so 3 is 0 1 1 right so it is 0 1 1 so what i do is i see what is the last bit it is 1 so result is in in the beginning 1 so if this is 1 i multiply this result with 5 the value of a right so this value of a is 5 so a is 5 b is 3 so if this bit is 1 so i will multiply this result with the value of a so this result becomes 5 raised to the power 1 right and at this position the value of a is 5 at this position it becomes 5 square what i do is i remove the last bit and i square the number so we remove the last bit and we square the number which becomes 5 square i again extract the bit i see this bit is now again set so i multiply my result with the number a so the 5 gets multiplied with 5 square which becomes 5 cube and i this bit goes off and 5 square becomes 5 raised to the power 4 but as the next bit is now 0 so if the number b is now 0 the while loop will stop and uh, this result is returned so this result is nothing but 125 and if you take mod 100 it becomes 125 mod 100 becomes 25 so this is how the modular exponentiation works so i am saving this code at this url 15387 and you can use it for future reference i hope this concept is clear so thanks guys for watching i will see you in the next video